What's up, Kansas City? This is Greg Colasso. I'm the new national chair, or excuse me, vice chair of uh, economic development for the Kansas City chapter of the National Black United Front. And I'm here today with Brother Alvin Sykes, one of our founding members that we'll be recognizing tonight. We're here at the Bruce R. Watkins uh, Cultural Heritage Center. Welcome. Welcome. Sykes. You Thank don't you. know how great that sounds to hear awesome. as you introduce yourself as awesome. the future of the Black United Front. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, Brother Sykes, tell me a little bit, uh, or a lot of it, <laughs> about yourself, and uh, we'll kind of just take it from there. Let's start there. Well, the, basically, I've been a human rights worker even before I knew that what that meant to, as yes, a child uh, in working to help uh, um, other people and myself through the criminal justice system is where I started. Yes, sir. It started as a victim of a crime and uh, a rape uh, and, and turned that into um, uh, that poison into medicine and helping other people. Yes, and it, throughout this journey in my um, life, um, at one of the junctures was in 81, and that was when um, simultaneous at that time uh, I became a founder, co-founder of the Kansas City chapter of the Black United Front, uh, as well as president of the Steve Harvey Justice Campaign. Uh, and at the time, uh, that's how, that was the catalyst of us coming together, um, well, me coming together with the, the other uh, six. Um, you know, Steve Harvey was a musician okay. here in Kansas City. Okay. And he was brutally killed at the Liberty Memorial. Oh, it really? was a racially okay. motivated killing, oh, wow. and he was uh, yeah. his killer was acquitted in state court. Uh, I then, along with the, what became the nucleus of the um, uh, Black United Front and other organizations in, yeah. in the city, formed together you know, under the umbrella of Steve Harvey Justice Campaign yes, to pursue justice in his case, and we were successful at being able to. Um, uh, um, through research and activism and all this put together, uh, 18 months later, we were successful at having uh, Raymond Bledsoe convicted in federal court by an uh, all-white jury on civil rights violations. So that was the assailant or the perpetrator of the crime? Right. Okay. okay. And at the time, it, it was only a handful, about four or five cases in the country that had been successfully prosecuted under the Civil Rights Act of 68, yes, and this was one of them. But what was more significant and lasting for me, even though Bledsoe is still in prison today, yes. uh, um, along the way, uh, meeting a brother, Jama Webster, Absolutely. And, and Mickey Dean, Absolutely. And William Grace, and, and uh, Elton Gumbo, and uh, Leon, uh, well, at the time, uh, uh, Lloyd Daniels was out of the country. Okay. Uh, yeah, he was in Daniels Grenada Daniels. at that time, I think. Huh? Was he in Grenada at right, that time? Right, yes, right, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and um, uh, did I leave out anybody? I don't think so. Um, um, uh, I think I got everybody. Yes, sir. Uh, and so, uh oh, Leon Dixon. Uh -huh. Can't leave out Brother Dixon. No, absolutely. Uh, and so, um, they all, we all kind of interchanged. Yes. And I had been in an organization called um, Social Action Committee of 20, SAC 20. SAC 20, yes, sir. Uh, and so I had a sense of nationalism about me. And so when, um, uh, when I seen what this could be, yes, sir. I knew that I had to be a part of it. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, that's how it uh, you know, started. And th they were always there. For the, for the Steve Harvey case, um, and um, um, if you look at past pictures, you'll see people, and you'll see me talking, but you'll see other people yes, there. Sir. That's the Black Men in Front. They were there the most uh, of anybody uh, there. So um, I stayed with it. I felt that with the, it was a family type of, of setting, and seeing how the Front would help um, the people grow Okay. And families, Absolutely. And, and, and rites of passage, and Absolutely. all these things that go beyond just pursuing justice, but increases the quality of life of everybody. Yes, sir. Uh, so I knew that I had to uh, be a part of it, and so from back then, 
uh, with Steve Harvey's case and all the way up to Emmett Till's case. Uh, I've been there, but it's this moment. Yes, sir. This moment that yes, means the most to me because uh, as I speak and go around the country, I tell young people, you know, you got problems with folks who get in office and want to stay there and get the, in leadership and want to stay there forever. Yeah. And so I tell them, you know, you know, you're going to have to snatch it. You can't wait. Uh, and you just have to snatch the baton. Yes, sir. That applies to everybody but the Black United Front. Because in the Black United Front, we passed the torch. And, and uh, we want it to be. And so Absolutely. I'm so happy and glad that uh, you're here in the new leadership and so honored to be here today. Absolutely. Thank you, Brother Sykes. Hey, you heard it from one of the original founding members, Brother Alvin Sykes. Once again, Greg Colossae, what's up, Kansas City? Excellent. This program is brought to you by